you're watching this quick video because you need to let someone else have access to your specific kind of login in Salesforce or you need to help somebody else do that. A lot of times it's because you're seeing something funny in a record that just doesn't make any sense, but you need to let them see it directly from kind of what, exactly what you're seeing. So we, we know how to get to uh, the setup. And if you, if you do that, what you end up getting is, um, is, is these options, which are, are, are really um, uh, organization wide. So to get to your settings, what you have to do is to click on your user. And what you then get is this settings options here. And by clicking on this settings, uh, you get to the settings, uh, my settings features. Uh, these are again are unique to your login and the one that we're going to care about is the grant lo account login access. And what you're presented with is a series of choices. These are uh, potential applications that have either requested access or have provided as part of a, you know, when you, when you loaded them from the app exchange. What you're going to see is that each one as you float over it provides a little bit of background about kind of who they are and they may in fact be different from the, you know, the name that you're thinking about. If you're giving uh, salesforce.com access, you can give it for a year. Interesting though, if you're looking at salesforce.org, you can only give it for one month and that's true of these other two as well. But let's say what you want to do is to give it three days of access and you click save. Uh, and what this does is just show you exactly when it's expiring. Um, when in fact you've, you've finished working with, with this person and you don't want them to have access to your system anymore, uh, you can go back again to the, uh, to your login, to your settings and, uh, back into the grant login and just click change. And you can say, I don't want to give them access anymore. So you could just say no access, click save, and it's all back to normal again. So at this stage, uh, you know, that's what you need to know. Um, while you're here in the My Settings, it's probably worth kind of looking at what other settings and what other features are available here. Um, you can look at, at other connections, your login history. This is where you look at your personal information and any other kind of setup information. Uh, you can look at how you would customize pages, take a look at record types. Uh, your email settings are especially interesting because this does show you uh, kind of what's showing an outgoing mail or return addresses, that kind of thing. You know, chatter feeds, the rest of this is pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. Uh, on the second video, what I'll do is I'll show you exactly how to, uh, to make this happen from an administrator side. Thanks.